Well, hello there, everybody. Welcome to a game I constantly talk crap about and I uh, finally broke down and purchased. This is indeed the Dark Souls, the one and only that I constantly talked crap completely about um, nonstop and said it wasn't a good game, that it was a terrible, not good thing at all. I know these aren't the most perfect things, of course. This is a New Game Plus character. Um, I'm not gonna say it's a advisable thing if you're first run. If you could say that I, I could do a new character, but of course since I already know all the ins and outs of the game, um, it would be a little unfair. And I think that, uh, no, I'm just kidding. I'm actually gonna start a new character over. So this is the PC version of Dark Souls. Not Dark Souls 2, not Dark Souls for PS3, not Dark Souls for Xbox 360, not using an Xbox 360 controller, so I am the living goddamn proof that you can actually beat Dark Souls um, without actually using a keyboard and or a mouse and keyboard setup. So let's call her Farika, because why the hell not? We're going to make a female. doesn't matter in Dark Souls as far as I'm aware of if you choose a male or a female. I don't want to be a scrubtastic, ugly man. I want to change my gender and be a beautiful, savage maiden. And of course, there we go. I did not know how to do that for like the life of me. Cat, you can just stay. I'm sick of your shit. Just sit down. Perfect. See, the frustration in me is already leaking out. Now, I'm not going to lie. I found this game actually very easy, and the only enemies that probably killed me the most were Smo and Ormstein, or Smog and Ormstein, or who the fuck cares and who the fuck knows. Um, and maybe... Uh, I had a little bit of trouble on the Blight Town, but that's just, you know, whatever. Now, this is the PC version, and it's not a very good port. We are using DS Fix. Not using DS Mouse Fix, because fuck that shit's for scrubs. Um, <clears throat> bottom line is, is that, uh, essentially, I know what to do, and if you thought I was going to go through blind, you were sadly mistaken. Now, I have no idea why my screen's not showing up here of what the class is. We're going to go ahead and just go with Warrior because that's the most basic that I can think of that's not going to fucking destroy me off the bat. You're going to get fucked up either way. Um, now, this game isn't very hard, and I have no idea why it's not showing um, much of anything right now. That's really strange, and it's probably my fault. That's Dark Souls being Dark Souls. We might as well just start off with a... You know, I would start off with the Master Key just because I know what I'm doing, but I really don't want to break the flow of the game that much and get over cocky. So we're going to go with Twin Humanities, that's pretty easy. We're going to go with uh, Slim Build, because why not? Give her some sexy hair here, and uh, it looks like Bedhead times 5, that looks like I'm not really sure. Let's just go with the good old fashioned thing here, the bun. I like my buns, alright. And I think that's all we need to know. That is, uh, that's me. I, I confirm my character, can I just go yet? No. Keep in mind, I have not recorded Dark Souls ever, and I know this game has a quite a bit of problems in terms of, uh, do I really have to choose, like, a hair color here, and just, then I can go? My god, we're, we're not even making it past the, the damn screen. That is embarrassing. Now we can go. There we go. Perfect. So, we will probably be doing what I did last time and going with a, I don't care about the Age of Ancients at all, ma'am. God of War rip off my foot. Okay, so we don't need to know this bullshit. All you need to know about this game is, um, my HUD is gone, and that's a big problem. I'll be right back. Okay, and we had a, you know, we always have to have complications when we're playing Dark Souls. I mean, the game's already bitch-slapping me across the tits before I've even actually walked outside of my prison cell. So, in, the, in a nutshell, Dark Souls is a game about, well, uh, whatever you really want to make it out to be, if you really want to put it that way. Now, I'm pretty good at the game. I'm not going to be like a dick and say I'm like the bomb diggity and that I know everything about this game because I truly obviously do because I fucking new gamed it. You know, I got a new game plus, you know, I know what I'm, exactly what I'm doing. Um, <clears throat> so what we're going to do here is re kind of remake my new character. As you can see, my beautiful sexiness is gone and replaced with dry, hollow, nasty, stanky bitch um, face skin, which is not good at all. We want to get some damn humanity and be sexy again. We really don't want to pop this humanity on accident. Now, I'm starting over. We're going to do a dexterity build. I I will explain builds. I'm not 100% accurate. So don't, like I said, even though I'm good at RPGs, I'm good at, you know, most RPGs. Good at pretty much this game. <laughs> um, and have a kind of antiquated, antiquated taste for um, most RPGs. 
I really enjoyed Dark Souls. It was a game I talked quite a lot of shit about um, when I first started on this channel. And um, I didn't necessarily think it was a good game. Now, keep in mind, this is the PC version. There's a lot of frame rate issues. This is an Asus G750, my brand new baby. Um, and obviously, this is not a normal frame rate issue. Um, this is just because it's a shoddy port. There's not much I can do. I have the frame limited to 30, as usual would be preferable. Now, in Dark Souls, bonfires are... Well, in Firelink Shrine, it's different. But here in the prison, this is basically a checkpoint. Now, you don't come across checkpoints very often in Dark Souls, and when you do, usually it's a pretty big boner feeling when you find one. Now, as per usual in Dark Souls fashion, we're just going to run straight the fuck away from the Asylum Demon, because I really don't want to hit him to death with this tiny little Vicky sword. I'm going to go get a man's weapon, and you'll never see bonfires this close, ever. <laughs> so, um, if this is your first time playing, and you think this is how the game is, um, I am sadly mistaken to tell you that Cat needs to stop. Um, it's never like this, ever. I forgot I didn't have a shield, so I'm like, um, heater shield, uh, Peter shield, whatever you want to call it. Now, I'm not a pro with this game, I'm just mildly knowledgeable. Having finished the game and looked up a lot of guides and stuff on how to finish it, um, I didn't really have to use very many guides to finish Dark Souls. It only took me about, um, I want to say a week in between working and getting this new computer to work, so... Um, it really didn't take me that long, and like I said, the only parts that really, you know, stuck to me like glue on tissue paper was Smo and Ormstein. I'm gonna call him Smog, because I'm a big fan of the Lord of the Rings trilogies. Quad quadrilities, if you really want to get technical. Now, uh, Dark Souls is not your typical hack-and-slashy Skyrim MLG Pro game. This game is very, basically, not really difficult. I'm not gonna lie, this game is not difficult. Um... And I'll probably try to exemplify this. I, I That's one reason I didn't want to play this game in the first place, was I hear... I remember, I know this sounds like a scrub thing to say, and I like, uh, you know, James from Uber Hacks or Nova, but that was how I first... God damn it. Anyways, that was how I first found out about this game was him, and uh, we're going to skip past most, if not all, the dialogue. Sure, whatever, bro, we're going to come back and kill you anyways. You know, estrogen flask, whatever, and a key. Shit's all I need. All right, hopefully that's not coming out too loud. I, I have no idea, because this game has <laughs> the worst PC port ever, probably. Um, essentially, uh, this game has no configurable options. I think he drops something when he dies. My first playthrough, I killed him on complete accident. I was like, well, shit, he's going to die anyways, isn't he? Now, we're going to come back here later on, but anyways, more on my elaborate story. Um, I didn't like Dark Souls because I assumed it was just this game people made out to be way too difficult than it already is not and uh, truthfully it kind of turned me away because I didn't want to play a game that I thought was um, I don't really like to be the mainstream gamer because I'm such a hipster but I mean if, if it's notoriously difficult um, then I have this feeling that it's really not as hard as it's gonna be and that's really what it is it's not as hard as people make it out to be this game is extremely easy because all the enemies are in set locations the only real issue is getting invaded, which is very rare, on the PC version at least. Um, mainly because, eh, what is it, scum noise, anyways. The PC version is not as beautiful, I guess, and this is one instance where I guess you can say the PC glorious gaming master race does not have um, an advantage, you son of a bitch, over um, the console scrubs, even though I used to play console games for like 69 years. Um, Dark Souls is very poorly optimized on PC, but um, since I don't have a capture card and I don't like, you know, fumbling around with people on the 360 calling you a scrub every five seconds for gil killing them in some stupid way, let's get on with our first boss fight. Now we're going to do a pretty easy technique, um, but we will use a halberd later on. I rather enjoyed the halberd quite a bit, and that just fucked up the Asylum Demon pretty bad. Um, he does not like that. And we're going to fight this guy quite a few times throughout the game. Um, two different versions, actually. One is called the Fire Sage Demon, which I constantly think I'm fighting when I do this. Um, and this is my third run through Dark Souls. This is a new character, so it's interesting to me. Um, now, uh, there's a quite lovely picture out there that shows the uh, Asylum Demon. It says, Welcome to Dark Souls. I'll be your tutorial. And that is uh, quite not true. Um, this guy's only difficult if you don't know what you're doing. And... Uh, Part of Dark Souls is discovering each and every enemy's sort of weak spots, if you will. This guy is his big dumb butt, which I just totally destroy with my big small sword. And we get a big, pro 
Big Pilgrim's Key. A lot of alliteration here. Now, if you go back to a bonfire, which we're going to do right here, just so I can make this a little bit easier on me later on, because we are going to come back here at a little bit of a higher level. And you can't level up here, so if you're also starting a new game plus, you kind of have to not fuck up, because if you do, you lose all your souls from killing Gwyn. Spoilers, a.k.a. the final boss. This game has been out for how long now? Um, I have no idea, so... Anyways, Halberd is what we're going to be using throughout most of the game, and I'm going to be a little bit smarter this time. That way, when I can go to New Game Plus, have a plus five, you know, Black Knight Halberd already ready for me, like I tried to do with my other character, as you probably saw a little bit ago. And uh, Dexterity and Strength are two different things. Um, I'll explain them more on stats when I get into the game itself. And I'm going to be skipping past most, if not all, the cutscenes, because, I mean, if you really want to look at them, you can Google them or YouTube them. Whatever you really want to do, and yes, I know in Lordan you level up and kindle up bonfires, and I'm sorry if everyone's, like, butthurt that I don't completely die every two seconds because I kind of know what I'm doing, and uh, I hate to say that, too. So we're going to be putting a couple points, and I'll explain leveling in a second. I'm not 100% perfect because we're going through a melee-only character. So Vitality, here's what Dark Souls' is like. leveling system is like. You have... Each level requires souls. Souls can be used as money, they can also be used as a currency, if you will, like I just said. Or they can be used as a uh, leveling material, or XP, if you will. Now, if you die in Dark Souls, you have a bloodstain, and if you die before you get to your bloodstain, you lose all of the souls you had on there, but not your items. And you'll become hollow or undead, and you'll have less defense, you want to get humanity, well, all, this all gets explained later on. Now, this looks overwhelming at first, but the difference between Dark Souls and a lot of other RPGs is when I, I kind of skipped past it, I shouldn't have done that, but who cares. You level up so quickly, I believe the maximum soul level for warriors is what, 713 or something like that? And you, it has a soft cap, so it's not necessarily a game where you want a 99 every single skill, because each skill passively gives you a little bit of each thing. Such as, uh, Vitality not only gives you HP, which I'm pointing out with my hand that you can't see, just imagine where it's at now, um, but also, if I leveled up, like, Endurance, I'd get a little bit more stamina, but I'd also get a lot more physical defense slightly. It's kind of hard to explain. Every stat is a little bit of something, but one a little bit more than the other. Um, and dexterity is what we're going to be using. Dexterity is focused on weapons like spears. I never knew that thing had three fucking humanity in it. Um, spears, halberds, and the reason I like halberd is because halberd is very balanced, um, and I'm very comfortable using it. It's extremely easy to use. Uh, upgrade because Tight Knight is very easy to get and Black Knight Halberd is fucking beast I'm sorry to say I know I can't wield it but I've seen it in action I've seen it in quite a few pornos um, this episode might be a little bit longer than the usual now we're not gonna be doing DLC shit because I don't feel like it I have the prepare to die edition and I actually bought this for $20 right before um, you know it went on sale for like six the other day and I beat it before it was on sale so uh, no, I'm just kidding I beat it after it was on sale now, in Dark Souls, um, loot is fixed. Um, every single enemy, usually, actually, I should say usually every enemy, has fixed loot. And each box always contains the same thing. So, this area is always going to contain each of the same item I just picked up. I don't think I can kill these skeletons at all. And it's a very beginner's trap. Dark Souls is very open-ended. It does not really care what you want to do. If you do it wrong, you did it wrong. <laughs> Um, I think, the, yeah, these guys are going to fuck me up. I should probably run. And we can see a bloodstain back there. A bloodstain is essentially another character's deceased body. And um, you can see how they die if you're into that sort of sick shit like I am. And you can just uh, wickle your tickle and pickle your wickle and wuffle your tuffle. I've already fucked up the joke. It doesn't matter. It wasn't going anywhere anyways. And um, see how other players died, which is very interesting and very cool, I think. And you can kind of give hints. We'll get a soapstone here in a little bit. Um, now, I forgot to mention, whenever you rest at a bonfire, it resets all the enemies that you just killed. So, But it also refills all your Estus Flask. Now, your health can be upgraded using Firekeeper Souls, which are rare drops. Actually, fixed rare items. So, <clears throat> later on in the game, we'll come across those. Now, I'm not 100% perfect MLG Pro Get Rex Scrub. At Dark Souls, so I don't know where every single item is, but I found most every single item on my first playthrough. Now, don't fuck around with these hollows, because as you'll find out, they can heal just like I can. I can use Lloyd's Talisman to block their healing, but that's such a worthless thing. 
And I am too scared shitless to try and jump that because I know my jumping skills in this game are not as, you know, not as precise as I'd like them to be. And a common tactic you'll see me doing is luring enemies out. And once we get the halberd later on here when we get further into the game, things become very easy very quick. The halberd is a spear type weapon in a weird sense in that uh, it will pretty much stab enemies at a good distance leaving you pretty safe to dodge and that's extremely important. And if you've played um, an Elder Scrolls title, not Skyrim, um, such as probably Morrowind's a pretty good example of this. Uh, okay, just go for a swim then, alright. Give me humanity, bro. Anyways, <laughs> you'll probably see me do this later on, but I won't show it on camera. When I need to farm humanity, um, for probably Smo and Armstein, Arnstein, I don't give a fuck how you say it. Dudes that die very, very slowly later on. Now, um, <clears throat> good luck, indeed. We're gonna get a... maybe actually have it already? I don't really know. I'm not 100% pro. This is my second new playthrough, if you will, and um, I know it's kind of scrubby of me to play the same exact class I started with. I started with Warrior in my very first playthrough, if you probably already saw. Um, but I enjoyed it quite a bit. It was... it doesn't really matter what class you choose in Dark Souls as opposed to most other RPGs. Each um, level grants you the same sort of shit anyways. Just gives you a different starter bonus and a different set of armor. I chose uh, Warrior simply because it's a little bit of a lighter set. And uh, we're going to be probably using a medium set. Maybe Elite Knight. I'm going to try and do a repeat of how I played the game the first time. But this time a little bit more tactical. Because I'm a pro, don't you know. And um, this game is not as hard as people make it out to be. But it's only hard if you make it hard, and you can take that in any way you really want to. Um, I'm not going to stop you there. Grief. All these messages. Um, now, this is a bad idea, is to take on four hollows at once at this lower level. And leveling up isn't necessarily super crucial in Dark Souls. It's kind of more how high level your equipment is, because the higher your equipment is... Because later on we'll be finding items like uh, embers, and embers don't carry over to... Um, this is actually a sort of different item. Later on, this will come in handy. Um, embers are basically what upgrade your material. Allow you to upgrade, I should say. With various materials such as titanite chunks, titanite shards. You get the gist. Go shard, slab. I don't know how to get that loot over there, so sue me later. Anyways. Don't really give a flying fuck. Get some humanity, though. 777. Maybe we're off to a good start. 77 souls. That's probably what I'm going to call this one. Um, and there is going to be some frame rate issues throughout the game, primarily in Blight Town, and if I get booted, that's fine by me. I don't plan on invading, because I find the invading society of Dark Souls interesting, but I'm just not pro enough for it, I hate to say. I know I'm the most professional, proficient player in the planet, but not in terms of, um, PvP in Dark Souls. I maybe killed, like, six people. <laughs> And um, everybody else just seems to wipe the floor with my ass. And I almost 9 times out of 10 get invaded in spots that I didn't want to. I got invaded in um, Sen's Fortress, I got invaded in An Orlando, I got invaded practically every single spot this game has to offer. And hello there, Mr. Dragon! Let's not um, step on you or get in your way. I don't want to be in your grill space and you don't want to be in mine. Let's just put it that way. Anyways, um, now I'm not a pro with this game. And I'm going to make Undead Berg look like my bitch in five seconds, and that's probably as far as uh, bragging rights go. I know how to get to every spot in the game. I didn't do the uh, Ash Lake and stuff because I beat this game last night. I pretty much said, you know what, I just want to end the damn game, and that was it. I could do it on this playthrough. I've seen, play I've seen about maybe two playthroughs of this game, so I'm not like completely, I don't know what's going on in this game. Um, there's like some dudes and some souls and shit. There's like fire. I'm pretty proficient in the story, but I'd rather not butcher it for anybody who doesn't know it, obviously. And these guys are just going to respawn in a couple seconds, but why not get some souls while we're at it? Souls are very easy to come by, um, and later on in the game, you kind of feel less bad about losing souls. At least I do. Um, so we're going to put at least a point into... Eh, we're not going to crunch that down yet. Let's just put one into vitality to start with. I'm not a pro at making builds, this isn't Diablo, bro. I'm better at Diablo in terms of builds and shit, maybe Oblivion as well. Um, so I'm not gonna say, oh, I know exactly how to make my character super MLG pro by level 40. Um, 
Because as you saw with my last character, I didn't look at... St I didn't even know how to actually check for um, stat requirements uh, for the longest time in this game. Um, does he still have a drop? Okay, I was going to say. Anyways, I'm so used to having Covetous Gold Ring on like 9 times out of 10, just getting random crap all the time. <clears throat> so I do know most, if not all, the drops in the game because I did farm quite a bit for that first character. These guys are pretty much the introduction to have a nice day, you're going to get fucked in 5 minutes. Um, your first time through. They were my introduction to patience in Dark Soul more so than I already had. Um, I was really patient. Oh shit, this is a bad idea. Um, very bad idea. It sucks because I could totally destroy these guys with my main character. My main. You don't want to mess with my main. Anyways. I could totally wreck these guys. I could kick, but I don't know. Uh, let's put it this way. I know how to control the game, but the PC version doesn't know how to control itself. Okay, that was bullshit. We all know it. We all know that guy's a scrub. And I'm taking way too many hits off the bat. Uh, oh well. We're gonna go rest that bonfire after this anyway, so... I wouldn't worry too much. We're just gonna get the uh, merchant ready. Even though I never buy anything in this game. Most all items can be farmed from at least one or two areas in the game. Very few items from the merchants can be... Well, a couple of them are special, I should say. Like Armor of the Glorious, stuff like that. That was a dumb idea. I, I bought that my first playthrough. And then I soon found out Elite Armor is pretty much elite. Well now, you two are gonna have your wits about you. Mm, I sell shows. I, I jack off in the shower sometimes and it hurts. Um, we need 100 more souls to get the... Um, just bang my hand across the mic. Um, we need 100 more souls to get the basement key. Or, or house key, whatever it is. I don't even remember. Um, and yes, I, I know most of the bosses pretty well in this game, and they're not too difficult. The ones I expect the most trouble with, and the one that I was actually on in that new game character you saw recently, was um, actually Capra Demon. But it was 1 in the morning, and I had to go to work at 3, so I said, you know what? It's probably, uh, let's just uh, go to sleep <laughs> and save him for later. I only died one time so far in New Game Plus, so it's not like... Uh, but you, you did see the gear I had was sufficiently decent, so it wasn't like I was underprepared for uh, New Game Plus. There's really no point in playing New Game Plus if you really want to get technical. A lot of players I know prefer to just start the game over, and that's probably the more preferable thing unless you really, really want to get a max soul level, which I kind of want to do just for shits and gigs, but uh, then again, it really has no point, because Dark Souls 2 I'm going to probably buy here soon and play that one after I get done with this. Um, let's actually just make a quick edit. I'll see you guys in a moment.